good morning well it's not morning what else is new i literally slept like 13 hours last night i think yesterday was just very stressful i took a melatonin around 10 o'clock went to bed around 11 and i woke up hmm, half hour ago it's 12 30 right now thank you for all the well wishes for biscuit yesterday i'd show you her but i'm not her favorite person right now <laughs> i had to give her medicine in her mouth and she's mad at me right now but she's doing good oh here she is she's doing well she slept really well last night she seems in a little bit of pain but hopefully the medicine starts kicking in hi baby i'm so sorry i had to do that i know i'm sorry i'm sorry she's doing good she is <laughs> she's doing well my poor little baby Thank you. I gave her cottage cheese and an egg. We literally eat the same breakfast now. Today's hair wash day. So I'm gonna put rosemary mint scalp oil in my hair to promote hair growth. Not that I need hair growth, it's more to prevent hair falling out. I had actually a dream last night that my eyebrows were falling out. <laughs> Since the surgery, that's been like a big fear of mine. I've heard like people lose hair and I also don't think I'm doing this correctly so don't come at me for it but I don't want to lose hair. I've spent so much time regrowing it and like making it super healthy from when I dyed it a bunch of times. I'm just trying to prevent any hair loss where I can. I don't wash my hair often, one because I'm lazy but two because I know it's better if you don't. Now I'm just going to massage. And my hair is going to look super oily, but that's okay. Come on. Promote regrowth. Let's go. I literally just got that hair oil at Target, so don't know if it's like great, but it's one of the things that I heard is good to promote hair growth. So we're just stimulating my scalp. <laughs> My hair is very dirty, so I need to wash it, but that's why I'm doing this today. Now I'm just going to put it up in a bun, so I hate my hair in a bun. I look really- oh, maybe I could do it in a ponytail. That might be a little better. Um, I don't like my hair in a bun. I used to wear my hair in a bun like every day, and now I can't stand it. I think I look so fugly. I'm going to leave it in for at least an hour. I'm going to make breakfast and probably watch Bridgerton. <laughs> I'm literally almost done with season one, so that's exciting. I also ordered pimple patches last night, and I think they got delivered this morning, so I'm gonna go grab them really quick. Um, this is really bothering me, it hurts, but it was able to pop this morning, so let me go grab one. I know I'm gonna be showering in like an hour or two, but just for now, I want it on it. <laughs> I got these Mighty Patch ones. It says put it on at night, but I don't care. I'm putting it one on now because, ew. Oh, it makes it a little less visible, maybe. I don't think that's true. Anyways, I feel so gross right now. Like, I look gross. I feel gross. <laughs> it is what it is, okay? Don't know what the plans are today. I know I have to run to CVS, but I could do that later. I don't really want to leave Biscuit alone right now, just because she's, hey, one day post-op. <laughs> Maybe I'll do CBS tomorrow. I don't know. I just want to keep an eye on her. I'm going to make myself a little egg with cottage cheese, spinach, and scallions. And then I think tomorrow I want to film a podcast episode. Actually, I'm not going to tell you the topic because then you're just going to have to go watch it when it's out, which will be tomorrow when you're seeing this tomorrow will be the new podcast episode um but i'm filming it tomorrow in real time i'm excited to not have to like vlog the whole day tomorrow even though i love it i feel boring <laughs> oh <laughs> we'll see what we get up to i'm gonna go make breakfast i'm hungry i just wanted to show you i don't mess around when it comes to spinach in my eggs i fill it up as much as i can because it shrinks down a lot but i'm trying to get as much vegetables as i can and then one egg. I add a little bit of cottage cheese to the mixture. Ignore that. <laughs> and I'm going to add a little bit of green onions because I have some. 
So, yeah. Here she is, my little breakfast. It doesn't look that good, but it's really good. I just sauteed the spinach with better than bouillon. I added egg, one egg, two tablespoons of good culture cottage cheese, and some scallions. So, yeah, with my Minnie Mouse fork. Hi everyone, I showered clearly, I did my skincare and I'm feeling a lot better. Pimple is still pimpling, that's okay. This one is not really a pimple, it's just like red. I also got this new Noah Khan crew neck. I got it on Etsy, I would link it, but the shop seller is no longer a shop seller, so yeah. I also ordered it too big because I'm so used to buying bigger sizes, so but it's fine, it's just oversized, it's a 3X, and I'm used to buying a 3X, but now it's big, but that's okay. I love his new album, Six Seasons, so I really wanted something that, like, showed it, and I love, this is my favorite part. Getting quite hungry again. I'm just gonna have some leftovers from last night. Last night I made egg roll in a bowl with ground chicken, so it was pretty good, so I'm just gonna have some of that. Excuse the mess of my house. I'm honestly just gonna make it in a mug. I also want to make a dessert for later. I might do that first. I'm gonna do that first. I got these dates the other day and I was thinking I would like make these little healthy-ish versions of Reese's peanut butter cups but not not like it at all. Really. Dried and pitted dates you know just normal. I think I'm gonna do like three. I'll do four. I have my little dates right here and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of crunchy peanut butter on top um, I'll tell you how much in a second because I'm gonna weigh it 23 grams of peanut butter or three quarters of an ounce so far and I'm just gonna put a couple chocolate chips on each not a lot of these Lily's chocolate chips I put nine on each so I'm gonna put these in the freezer for now just because the peanut butter is pretty loose. And we'll check on those later. And now I'm just gonna heat up some of my leftover dinner. If you didn't see how I made it yesterday and you wanna know, I videoed it and I put it in the vlog so you could go check it out if you want. And you could do it in one pan. I just didn't so I could weigh out my meat, but you definitely can if you're not worried about that. Cutting up some green onion and sit on the couch and finish season one of Bridgerton. It's so good. And today I'm just really feeling the after effects of my anxiety from yesterday. I don't know if any of you guys suffer from anxiety like I do, but af a day, the day after you have like really bad anxiety i just physically feel sick like i think that's why i slept so long last night not doing the best but i'm just letting myself have the day made myself a little sweet little treat for later anyways i'm gonna eat my little lunch and i'll chat with you in a bit i also have to take my vitamin Okay, it's later now. I'm about to do my hair. This is my natural hair. Sometimes it turns out like this, sometimes it turns out less curly and more frizzy. This is definitely frizzy, don't get me wrong. But I won't say curly, cause I don't have like curly hair, but it's wavy for sure. Like underneath is a lot more curly than the top. I don't like my hair like this. And if I brush it, which I will right now, it just gets crazy. My hair is like, I'd say 90% dry, but I'm tired of waiting all day. It just takes too long for my hair to completely dry. So that's my natural hair brushed out. <laughs> so I'm gonna blow dry it. And what I mean by that is I don't dry it with a blow dryer anymore. I use a styling brush. This one's the wavy talk one. Um, it was on TikTok. It was like trending. And it's basically just like the same thing as one of those like round brushes that you blow dry your hair with, but instead you do it 
when it's dry because it's like a styling brush and I find it works a lot better so first I'm gonna spray this in my hair this heat protectant I think it's a heat yeah protecting and silk blow I don't know the OGX brand I don't know my mom bought it even though I'm pretty sure this brand had a scandal where like people's hair was falling out don't know if that's true but and then i'm gonna section off the top part of my hair this isn't a tutorial but like i'm just showing you what i do i'm not like that great at it yet but i'm getting there i'm just gonna section off this little top part of my head like so just to get it out of the way and then I usually take a piece about this big and then wrap it away from your face. Kind of glide it down. The first couple pulls are not like great. And then one last one to give it like the whoosh. I go like that. And then it's kind of like a little bouncy blowout look. I'll show you when it's done because you can't really tell just with that. So I'll show you when I'm finished. Okay, so this is my hair after. Um, it's not perfect. I'm actually like a little upset with this, but um, I could always just touch it up tomorrow. At least it's a start. It's like manageable. My hair will never look like beautifully blown out just because there's like a lot of it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of the hair oil I used before in just a couple drops in the was the ends of my hair just to keep it tamed a little bit and yeah yeah and i know it's gonna get messed up when i'm sleeping anyways so it is what it is i have a bad habit of putting my hair behind my ears but whatever i'm just glad i got that over with because my hair was super dirty today so at least i got one thing done i fully showered and did my hair and stuff so yeah i'm actually i didn't have dinner yet but i don't know if i want like dinner I kind of just want a snack so let's go try my peanut butter date things okay we're in the kitchen now whoa here they are they actually look really good and they are frozen looks pretty good cheers <laughs> that i love the date flavor in there kind of tastes like a frozen snickers holy shit i'm gonna go eat this and guess what watch more Brid there's something in my teeth watch more bridgerton after the gastric sleep some days i just like don't want to eat really but i'm not gonna be upset that i'm not really having dinner maybe i will in a little bit after my snack and everything but i'll just have some of my protein in a little bit too make up for it but holy crap these are good that's gonna be a new go-to for sure i think that's all i'm gonna show you today i'm literally just gonna rot on my couch for the rest of the night and watch bridgerton bridgerton i need to calm down with how much i really like this show i just want to walk around with a british accent all day your grace like come on that's fun it makes me mad like why do i have an american accent Long Island specifically. I also feel like my teeth have been yellow looking lately. I need to get whitening strips or something, but yeah. Sorry today, there was not a lot going on. Tomorrow I'm filming the podcast episode, so hopefully that'll be a little more interesting than like something like this. But yeah, if you made it this far, comment down below a UK flag emoji. <laughs> like, you know, the British one. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for the podcast. Bye!